What's up guys? Love Tofu here with another fucking guide. Fuck yeah! Alright, so this is gonna be a guide for free to play. It's a free to play guide. I'm gonna make little, little sections about it. And this is a free to play beginner guide. Beginner guides, free to play edition. For all those people that want to play this game without spending a dime. Alright, so. This is the start. This is the start. And where else to start but the, the starters, right? The starters. The wonderful starters. We got the Vargas. And we got the girl. We got Cecina. C Selena. And then we got Lance. And then we got Easy. Or Ez. And then Ultro. And then um, Margaret is uh you can acquire these two in honors so you know there are starters they are starters but you can only get them in honor so we're not gonna really get into that that much and plus building a mono team is pretty hard we're gonna be talking about that as well now if you're planning on if you're planning on doing a mono team okay okay i'm gonna ex i'm gonna explain so the easiest, easiest way to beat this game, right, is, you know, building a mono team. You have to build a team. Now, before we actually decide on what starter we're going to get, we need to, you know, first decide on a team. We need to decide on a team. Now, in order to decide on a team, you, you got to decide on what mo what your team is going to consist of. What units. Alright, and the two good... Now, why... Oh, man, I don't know where to start. So okay, let's let's first define what mono team is. Mono team is having a full set of team, five units that are exactly the same element. Why would you want them to be the same element, Love Tofu? And the reason is because of this of this leader skill right here. That's why this leader skill: 50% boost to attack power and 10% increase in HP of fire types. You see? Fire Vargas. He's a he's a fire type, right? So if you have four more, four more fire units, they're all gonna have this this boost, 50% boost of attack, and that is pretty much permanent. They're gonna have that as long as if you have Vargas as your leader. It's really big. It really works. And also, this does duplicate with a friend. When you're playing Brave Frontier, later on you're going to um, be able to add friends. And depending on what your friend leader is, you're going to be able to use that leader skill. So if your friend also have a Vargas, and if you have a Vargas as, as a leader, you guys both have them as a leader, then that means that you guys are both going to be able to get this 50% boost from both the leaders. So you're going to get 50 from yours, and you're going to get 50 from your friend. And that makes a huge difference. This is how mono team works. And that's basically the core. The core of how a mono team, you know, how they get their source of power, their damage. You get a 50, you get a 100%. Well, it's not 100%. It's different. Nah, let's not go into calculation and stuff. But either way, 50%, 50%. It's a win-win. It's a win-win. All right, so, okay. Now I got that down, and you guys know what a mono team is. And this is why I'm saying that uh, Holy and Dark are kind of hard, you know, and probably you're not going to be able to acquire them in the beginning of the game, but you might acquire them later. And if, if you guys already have one, then that's great, guys. That's great. Okay, alright, so, stat-wise, stat they're all, you know, neck and neck. They're all neck and neck. There's not too much of a difference. So, um, you know, to make things easier, I don't know... If you guys are going to be spending your gems on rare summon or not, that's totally up to you. That's totally up to you. But even if you do spend it on rare summons, right? What are the chances of you getting four units that are fire, or four units that are water, etc., etc.? You know, highly likely, highly likely. And you got to decide on your starter before you do the rare summon. So yeah, yeah. yeah gotta pick your starter you gotta be really really wise in picking your starter and which element you want to start with and it's not all about looks guys you know it's not all about looks or, I mean it could be it could be about looks say you like Lance Lance looks cool I want to go with Lance 
Alright, that's cool. But, you know, you gotta know what units you gotta end up farming later on. Because you gotta start somewhere. You gotta start somewhere. You know, it's just like Pokemon. You know those three freaking starters? Bubble Store. Okay, it doesn't matter. That's old school. It's old school. Blue, blue version. So, Bubble Store, Char Charmander, and Squirtle. You know, they're, they all suck. Starters usually suck in the game. And you know why? Because the game developers, they want you to capture more stronger Pokemon and build a very, very, um, very strong team. You know, that have something, a really good synergy with each other. And that's what they want. Starters are just basically there so you, it'll get you through the game. But, you know, later on, you, they want you to have a stronger team. And that's basically what this is. Okay, but in this case, Vargas, the starters are really, really fucking good. You, you get them up to 6 star. And once they're at 6 star, they get these, um, they get better leader skills and they also get super BB. So... They're basically really high tier in this game. But okay, so let's go ahead and look at the, the units that you can capture in quest. And I'll also go through where, where you can acquire these guys. And I'm pretty sure they have that down below. No, they don't. Yeah, you'll be able to acquire these guys, I'm sure. Like, as you're playing the game, you'll come across these units. And it depends on the element, like, you know, while you're playing, you're going to have a fire area where there's a lot of fire units, and Leons will just show up. They'll show up. Okay, so basically, there's four really good units for each element. I'm picking the best ones, and the ones that are, like, really easy to access. Because you're starting out the game, you want to hurry up and build a mono team, like, right on the spot. You want to hurry up and build one. That way you'll be able to beat the next map and the next map, and so on and so forth. And then you want to really work on that team, you know, and like, leveling them up, getting up, evolving them. You know, you, because, trust me guys, it's going to take a lot of time. So decide really well. Okay, let's hurry up and fucking get on to this team. Alright, Leon. Now, Anima is basically the best stats in the game. Why? Increase your HP. Short. I'm going to make this really short. Now, the best stats, uh, the best stats, all right, going through order, HP, attack, defense, and rec, all right? That, that's, it's from best to worst, from best to worst. So, Anima, what does Anima do? Anima is basically increases your HP basically increases your HP and it lowers your rec. That's really fucking great, because rec is basically the worst stats. It's not the worst stats, let's say it's the least it's the least important stats. There we go. And health is the most important stats. So it's increasing the most important stats and decreasing the least important stats. I think that's the best type right here, pretty much. Lord is really, really balanced. Like, it increases all stats slightly, but not as much as any of these fours. These basically increase, you know, one particular stat and it decreases one. Where Lord slightly increases all four of them. So the next best one is Breaker. Because Breaker increases your attack. It increases your attack, but it lowers your defense. You see that the defense is a lot lower than the rest of them. And then third would be Lord. Lord is really good. But now, you guys are, are going to be able to capture these. You can farm them. You can farm these guys. So, you know, if you want to spend a lot of time, then try to get all anima. That would probably be the best, because it's a pretty big difference. 400? 400, 400 HP is a huge difference. And plus, with that Vargas, the 6 star Vargas, you can get your, anim you can get your Leon up to 4000. And you definitely want a 4,000 unit. You do. It's highly recommended for later on in the map. Alright, so you can see that Leons are extremely, extremely good. They have, they probably have the best stats out of all of them. Alright, now remember these numbers. Got these stats right here. 3,800. 1102. 1102. 11. Okay, so 1,000 pretty much. Alright. So 3,800 and 1,000 across. Now, the next one. 
The next one is the fucking pirate, okay? I haven't, I have never captured this. I never leveled it up either. Yeah, it's called a uh, Vikra. Now they all have different uh, BBs. BBs don't really matter though. They're all single. They all, they all suck. Now, if they actually had an AOE BB, I would actually be considering. Probably, I'll be considering that unit over the rest. Now, water, you know. Wow. That's actually pretty good. I'm actually surprised. Water has really, really high HP. And they have pretty good attack and defense, which is basically the same as the Leon. But the biggest difference right here is the wreck. The wreck is really, really low. It's 584 compared to 1000. Now, uh, you guys are probably asking me, what does wreck do? What wreck does is every time you're attacking a unit, you have a chance of dropping a heart. It's called a heart crystal. And this heart crystal will travel towards your unit and it'll heal it for a small amount. Now, the wreck number corresponds to the amount of heal that you get. So, if you don't want to be spending a lot of cures, it are these potions that you use in the game, and it only allows you to bring 10 of them. So, you know, you're spending less cures, which is a good thing. So, wreck, like I said, is the least important stat, but it's definitely not bad to have if the other three stats are really, really good. Now, if the other three stats are solid, the number solid, and I mean, if they're all the same, say for instance, these these three numbers are basically all the same for all these four units, right? But the only difference is wreck. You're definitely gonna go over. You're definitely gonna pick the unit with the higher wreck. But yeah, you see right here in this one as well. Um, this unit actually has more Z Zaza. It's the Earth type. Zaza is actually stronger. And he has less HP, but he's really strong. Defense is a slightly slightly higher, but Rex Rex is definitely low, and this is probably lower than the previous one. It is. It's at four four forty two, which is pretty low. Now, damn, what the fuck? Okay, the last one is um is a uh, uh, Gar Garloth Garth Garth. I don't even know how to fucking pronounce that name. But Garf. We're gonna go with Garf. Okay, Garf. Damn, dude. Some really fucking good stats. You have a thousand wreck. You have 900 defense. And a thousand attack. He's slightly weaker. But definitely good, good amount of HP. This is probably enough. And then once you have a six star, that'll boost it up to 4,000. So you don't have to worry about that. So, just by looking at the freaking stats of these units, you know, and he actually looks pretty cool. Now, looking at all these units, it's clear what the outcome is. They all have similar stats. They all have similar stats. The only difference is in the rec. The only difference is in the rec. And the only two that actually have higher rec is the thunder type and the fire type. These two both have really solid, really solid numbers, you know, and I definitely think they're better than the rest. I mean, it's really good. So let's go back to, uh, let's go back to starters. And this is the Thunder type. Freaking awesome, right? Thunder type's pretty cool. He looks really cool. Is the six star version now like i said stats they vary only a little bit man they really do if you look at them all right wreck right here let's just look at the wreck because i think majority of the stats they only differ by you know just a few like maybe a hundred or two but yeah the wreck is like 1100 1400 800 and then this is like 769 so he, he has pretty low rec but I mean these are leaders though leaders you're only gonna have one leader you're only gonna have one leader now what what the team's gonna mostly consist of is the unit that you're gonna be able to farm so I would probably put more concern in the unit than the leader itself okay 
And also there is actually one, one difference compared to all of them. You can see that all of these guys are single. Single BB. It's a single enemy, single enemy. Except for Garf. Garf is different. Garf is really different. His BB is 4 combo random. Powerful thunder attack on 3 random enemies. What does that mean? Well that means that he's going to be able to do 3 attacks, right? But, it's going to, if there's, if there's more than one enemy, it's going to hit several targets. It's just going to hit 3 random targets. But, the thing that's really really neat is, if there's only one boss, that boss is going to get hit, if hit 4 times. So, I mean, either way, he, he attacks only 4 times. I mean, it's an AoE. It's slightly, it's slightly not an AoE. It's somewhere like right in between. It's right in between. It's like, it's better than a single attack, but it's worse than an AoE. So I definitely think he's an option. So out of all the starters, I definitely, definitely recommend you either going Thunder or Fire. But I honestly want Fire, so I don't know. But either way, it's totally up to you guys. But I'm just saying that if you have a thousand rec, it's gonna make your life easier. It's just it. It's just better. It's gonna make your life easier, man. But yeah, I think I covered quite a bit. I kind of, I might have overwhelmed you guys a little bit, but hopefully this helped, guys. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next guide. And in the next one, we're gonna be covering on what to spend your gems on, because. The amount of gems you're going to get are kind of limited, kind of. See you guys next time.